I'm now joined by Bianca McDonough from Carlo Tours. Now, Bianca McDonough sounds like an Irish name and perhaps an Irish girl, but when you hear Bianca's accent, you realise you're not you're not a proper Carlo woman, are you? Uh, not really. I'm getting there now. I'm originally from Germany, well, Bavaria, South Bavaria, border to Austria. That's where I'm from. Now, your business is Carlo Tours. Yes. Now, kind of having been a blowing myself up in Cavan. Um, what, 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 how come you're doing Carlo tours and yet you're from, you're not from Carlo? No, like I used to work in the taxi for about eight years and I always wanted to show off Carlo because the minute I arrived here, um, I just was taken aback by the beauty of the county. Like, I mean, you have the Blackstairs Mountain, Mount Leinster, you have the River Barrow, and then it's not far away to Wicklow and then Coroclo Beach and the whole lot. And I was just wondering why is nobody else doing something about it? Because it's... It's much nicer and it has much more history than the West has. But the West is marketed better than County Carlo would be. And I'm tra trying to change that now. Carlo has often been referred to as the cavern of Leinster. No, I wouldn't say that now. <laughs> <laughs> now, strangely enough, we had a, as a guest on the program a couple of weeks ago, Derek, who does mead tours. And he had kind of said, similar to what you had said, you know, I grew up in mead, I know all about mead, but you never see mead on a tourist map. It's always the west of Ireland, it's Kerry, it's Donegal. But the Midland counties, I suppose you, you could include Cavan in that. Uh, it just never <laughs> gets a... Or Leash, what's wrong with Leash? What's wrong with Leash, you know. I mean, we don't normally have our, our, our guests on Cavan TV laughing at Cavan, you know. But as you know, Angela Merkel, we, we won't argue about it. Um, Good woman, so But it... It's, the, the Midland counties have always been um, a kind of, I, I go so far to say, ignored by the tourist authorities. Yes, unfortunately, and um, I find the Midland counties, they have a lot to offer, like it's, it's bog, and there is loads of uh, nature reserve in the, in, the, in the Midlands, and it's even going down to the southeast. And like I was in, in Wexford yesterday and I was surprised there was no tourists there at all. I was on my own on the, on the beautiful Kuroklo beach. And then if you go south from Kuroklo down to Wexford, there's this wildfowl reserve where I can watch birds and everything. And it's actually good that there is not many tourists there because then you get the nature as it is. Hmm. So basically you're Carlo tours and you're welcoming in the fact that there's not many tourists. Uh, I yes. see the point you're coming from, like I suppose like a lot of we say popular tourist destinations, once they become popular they tend to lose their appeal and particularly if you're looking at the like of Carlo and some of the other Midland counties where it's not mass appeal, it's not hurdy gurdy machines, it's not sunshine beaches, it's the likes of nature reserves, it's the like of parkland, it's the likes of kind of mountains and hills that, that you can hike on. As soon as that becomes exceedingly uh, popular and there's more people coming in, it immediately loses its appeal. It would, but then again, it's not only the uh, landscape we have in Carlo, we also have tradition. Like Carlo, nobody knows that we have uh, one of the best run um, Gaelic schools, um, Irish speaking schools in Carlo. Peter de Roche started with a prefab building with only 12 pupils in there, and now since five years it's 400 pe people there. And we also have a girl Kolashti, and I'm also involved in uh, Glor Kahalov with um, Sean O's dancing, and I learned Irish myself. To couple of folk along. Um, <laughs> uh, <Hossigme. Czechlo. laughs> I think that's so, about the extent of my 1970s yeah. Christian brother Irish, so my apologies <laughs> so for that. So that's like, there's so much more to see, to do, and to experience. So that's Carlo. Yeah. Now, what does Carlo Tours do? Carlo Tours provide day trips with a difference, like I only have small groups and I do individual day trips for everybody who rings me up and says, well, can you go to Glendalough? I says, yes, I can, but have you ever been to St. Mullins? And then people says, what's that? And I tell him, St. Mullins, this year, St. Mullins' birthday is on, he's 1400 years this year, isn't that amazing? Yes, send him a card. Yes. <laughs> I will, maybe. <laughs> and um, he has a place down, he set the place up down in South County Carlo, St Mullins. And he had the oldest running ferry service in all Ireland. That only stopped in the f 1950s, 1960s of um, the other last century. And, um, well, don't say it like that. I was yeah, born in the 50s. Please don't refer to me. That was, so. that was the last century, <laughs> yeah. you know. Um, a ferry service from where to where? It went from the... St. Mullins to the far side of the river and this community is gone completely now. 
because with the car, people got more mobile. They didn't depend on the ferry service anymore. Mm. And then Greg Namana had a bridge there, so people used to go around that way now, and the ferry service just died. And that me meant that the two communities between St. Mullins and the far side, I can't even remember the name now, isn't that sad? And they're gone now. Mm. But that, that ran for nearly 1,400 years. Now you say people ring you. How do people find out about you? I'm online on www.carlotours.ie and um, my phone number is 087-650-9880. That's all on my website. Then I'm very active on Twitter as well. So it's on my, my Twitter profile and it's also on my Facebook page. It's uh, carlotours.ie on Facebook as well. And who contacts you? Are they Irish people? Are they people from your native Germany? Have you got a big connection with Germany? Yes, I'm after bringing 20 people into Carlo only three weeks ago. They were there for the line dancing, so I do novelty programs for the Germans. I'm a line dancer myself. And Is there anything um, you don't do? You speak Irish, you're a line dancer. <laughs> you drove um, a taxi. I don't speak Chinese. but That's, that's it, but you're working <laughs> on it. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's a big market over there. <laughs> and is the fact that you, you have German connections, that you, 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 you left Germany, what, 15 years ago. Are you, are, are you focusing on the German market or is that just, just part of it? That's just part of it. Um, I started with focusing on the German market and I realised I can't really live on it because the Germans they would only come in once or twice a year and I needed something in between. So that's when I had this bright idea to do day trips for people who are already in Carlo, maybe people on business or weddings or people who are generally just there stopping over and they want to make them stay a little bit longer. And what are some of the things you bring them to see? You told us about the old monastery and the ferry. What are other things that are in Carlo? You have the Brownsville Dolmen, which everybody knows, but not far away from that, there is Stuckett's Grove. Then you have Mount Leinster. It's 795 metres high and it's a beautiful view from there, from the limestone viewpoint. Then you have Michel, which with the Adelaide Church. Um, you have O'Loughlin. The Easter was determined in O'Loughlin, in the Synod of O'Loughlin in the year 632 AD. So you know you your history know as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or the Barrow. The Barrow is the second longest river in the country and it flows right through Carlo. I mean, the Barrow Valley is one of the most beautiful valleys in, in, in all Ireland mm. and it's surrounded by the Blackstairs Mountains and on the far side on the, um, with the Kalesha Mountains. So it's really nice. And um, also St. Pat's College. It's in Carlo and it's the oldest Catholic college in Ireland and nobody knows about it. But you're doing a bit to, uh, yeah, to tell the world. <laughs> well, Bianca McDonough of uh, Carlo Tour, thank you so much for your time and best of luck with the business. Thank you very much for having me.